Hey guys, do you know the QR code feature in Casio FX 911X class which is real magic? Let me show you how. So I have this uh, Casio calculator emulator and I've already created a QR code. Let me show you how do we create QR code in Casio class which I'll just get rid of it. See for example, uh, you do not understand how do we use the function let's say vector in class ways and you would like to learn more about it so you can create a qr code you'll hit shift followed by option to get a qr code and if you're doing it on your handheld calculator you can scan this qr code using your uh, smart device mobile phone or ipad or what you can do you can double click on the qr code if you're accessing it on your computer you'll have to accept terms and condition once and see it talks about it gives you the user guide of the calculator for that particular function we selected vector there so it is talking about how do we do vector it gives you various options and it gives a snapshot of the calculation as well that is the one use of QR code. There is another use as well, and that is something that I like the most. So let's say we uh, are solving some uh, equation, okay? And let's take a polynomial equation, and let's take the world's easiest polynomial equation, that is x square minus five x plus six equals to zero. So I'll type in my copy and there. 1, negative 5, and 6, and I'll say equals to, so it gives me the root. That is what every basic standard calculator does. But what is special about class is that when you create a QR code of it, and when you double click, I mean, or you can scan it through your mobile or iPad, you go to a screen, okay, and it, you have the question that you input, you have the answers, and then you have a graph as well. So that is what makes class vision QR code so phenomenal. If you don't have a graphing calculator, you can just type in an equation, be it quadratic, cubic by quadratic, and you can quickly see a graph for that given equation. Or let's say uh, you, you have some statistical data and you want to plot through box and whisker plot or histogram or pie chart for that matter, it does that as well. Let me quickly show you how do we do that as well? So I'll just get rid of this. I'll go back to menu. All right, and then I'll go to statistics. Okay, I'll do one variable statistics. So let me put in some random values just so that I can quickly show you what I mean. All right, let me just take quickly take a few more values. All right, and one more. All right, so I have 10 values, and I would calculate uh, let's say one variable calculating statistics. Okay, I've calculated that, and I push shift and option again to create a QR code. I double click on it, and it takes me to a page where I have all the statistical value here, and then I have a box in the script plot as well. So this is a great use guys, try and explore QR code. Please like my video if you find it interesting and subscribe to the channel for more videos that I'm going to make on Flashways. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.